Jasper and Lyle will be honoured this week with a new staged musical in the town where they grew up. Caledonia, USA takes its title from a song they wrote especially for the show. Our arts correspondent Pauline McLean went to meet them. They worked with the Beatles and wrote some of the biggest hits of the 1970s. But Benny Gallagher and Graham Lyle never forgot the town where it all began. Now the people of Largs are returning the favour with a new musical based on the duo's extensive back catalogue. I grew up listening to these songs. My brother used to manage Graham and Benny. And um, when I was a drama student in the 70s, my graduation project was that I wrote a play with their songs as incidental music. And here I am, what, 40 years later, back at the same songs involved in the musical. Caledonia, USA. There's even a new song written especially for the show and its performers. I heard them, but I actually haven't heard much of the songs at all, so... When I like heard about the musical, I just started listening to the songs, and I listen to them literally every day now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think we I love the music. We've fallen in love with the music through yeah. the show. And for Gallagher and Lyle, that love of Largs has never left them. Some of the songs that we wrote in London, uh, in retrospect, I don't think we realised at the time, mm-hmm. but they were very influenced by this mm-hmm. upbringing here in this town, and it's great to see it still coming there. You know, they're still getting these. Very emotional sweeps, you know, when you see the kids doing it. And yeah. that, oh, enthusiasm. Wonderful. It's not a daft dream. We were told get a real job, you know, and uh, luckily we held on long enough until Paul McCartney signed us. You know, and that was really the, the issue that saved us from a miserable failure. <laughs> <laughs> but only with you. The show opens tomorrow, but like its most famous sons, the hope is it will travel the world. Holly McLean reporting Scotland, Largs. I know where we stand. Well, now here's Shelley with D.